Various chemicals flow into the Iloilo Batiano River system from places such as poultry farms and malls. A project seeks to look into how safe these waters may be, especially for fish that we eat. Let's find out more from Norbel Bautista of the National Research Council's Division of Chemical Sciences. Thank you so much for joining us, Norwell. How significant is this research project of yours? So, um, yeah, um, Ililo Batiana River System is, uh, is two rivers running through the city. And uh, the city has been investing a lot in rehabilitating these rivers, it, they look beautiful, but as a chemist, uh, you, you, you wonder if it's really uh, the same story underneath. Uh, it may look clean, but uh, we, there should probably be more investigation uh, about the rivers. And when we look at the data uh, literature, we find that there's still more work to do. So yeah, we, we look at uh, sediment and water samples uh, taken from various parts of the river system and we analyze them for persistent organic pollutants. So what environmental and public uh, health risks, uh, Norwell, are associated with the presence of these emerging contaminants in the river system? Yes, so we uh, persistent organic pollutants are uh, basically compounds that come from derivatives of uh, pharmaceutical waste mm. or industrial processes or uh, household uh, uh, chemicals or agriculture uh, and uh, and the like, and they have the potential to um, be harmful to the environment, bioaccumulate in organisms, and eventually, as a public health concern, down the line, it can cause cancers, reproductive health diseases, uh, it can alter immune systems and uh, neurobehavioral impairments and s such things that we a very long-term effects that we don't find out immediately. This is indeed a very risky and very dangerous uh, for all our Kababayans. And so, Norwell, any policy or management recommendations uh, from your research findings? Uh, so we're still in the early age, early stage of, uh, of the research, and uh, uh, we don't want to sound any alarms just yet, but this research is sort of a heads up because we find that uh, the data points to that the source or the driver of the of potential organic pollutants in in the river is basically agriculture runoff. Uh, Ililo, uh, be, at the head of the river, there are a lot of uh, farms, uh, rice fields, uh, mostly rice fields, and uh, um, some of the chemicals that we find downstream, even in the urbanized areas, are actually related to agricultural uh, practices. Uh, so. So we're this research, the, this and, research but, uh, that you have started, uh, but, Norwell. Uh, this would be weird. Uh, Norwell, yeah. uh, this research uh, that you have, how can it be adapted in mm -hmm. the environmental protection and conservation efforts, not only in the region but across the country? Yeah. So we have this. Uh, we already have the capacity to do this kinds of research, and uh, uh, we uh, we propose long-term monitoring projects for uh, potential organic pollutants. Maybe uh, we can uh, partner with the, yeah, the LGU, EMB, DA, uh, Department of Health, uh, to s sort of set up a long-term monitoring program for these types of compounds in uh, the rivers, not just in the city, but also in the region. Norwell, thank you so much and continue this good work of your research to help our environment and our rivers. Norel Bautista of the NRCP Division of Chemical Sciences.